Thank you for joining us tonight for the Edgefield and Northwood Area Water and Sewer Improvement Community Construction Meeting. If you hear something that you want more clarification on, please type it in the chat, or you can hold your questions until we have gone through the PowerPoint. We will start with the chat questions after the presentation. Your project manager is Clayton Torrance, and I'm gonna hand this over to him. Clayton. Thanks, Sally. Yeah, as Sally said, um, we're here for the Edgefield in Northwood area water and sewer improvements um, community construction meeting. We're gonna start out with some introductions, uh, project overview, go over the project area, frequently asked questions, and a timeline. As Sally mentioned, I am your project manager, Clayton Torrance. You can contact me uh, at the phone number there or by email. Uh, your project inspector is gonna be Jason with Transportation and Public Works. You can contact him by phone or email as well. Your, the contractor on this project is Woody Contractors Incorporated with Zach Irwin and Trent Woody running the point on their end. Um, the design consultants for this project are Vicentainer Engineering with Rhonda Vicentainer and Quiddity Engineering with Jennifer Franklin. So when we came to you in March of 2022, um, the project number uh, 103361 had a different scope. The project was called North Bailey, Crestwood, Lindenwood, and Oaklawn Area Water and Sewer Project. And covered uh, what's in the map there to the right. Now 103361, the project that we're talking about tonight, uh, covers a much different area. <clears throat> when we got to the final design phase of this project, we changed course and moved segments from one project to the other, from 103361, 103362, kind of put them together, pull them apart, um, and so you have two different scopes for, for both projects. Uh, the reason that we did this was to minimize and avoid inundating uh, you all with construction. The 103-361 project is now called the Edgefield and Northwood Area Water and Sewer Improvements. 103362 used to kind of cover what our current scope covers, not as extensive though, um, and was called the uh, Rockwood Area Water and Sewer. And now um, 103362 covers the segment that um, kind of are left out of uh, 103361, uh, covering North Bailey and kind of the southern portion of the neighborhood, whereas the, the first pro, uh, 103361 project we're talking about tonight covers kind of the north half of things. So here's another look at um, the, the overview of uh, Edgefield and Northwood Water and Sewer Project uh, 103361. Uh, existing water mains and sanitary sewer mains will be replaced in an area bound by Rockwood Park Drive to the north, North Bailey Avenue to the east, Sherwood Avenue to the south, and Rockwood Park Drive to the west. This capital improvement project is in Fort Worth Council District 7. Some landmarks include Crestwood Park, West Fork, the Trinity River, Rockwood Golf Course and Greenwood Cemetery. We'll be replacing uh, the water and sewer lines on Edgefield Road from Driver Avenue to Sherwood Avenue, Inglewood Lane from Driver Avenue to Northwood Road, Northwood Road from Rockwood Park Drive to Wildwood Road. We're replacing just the water lines on Oak Line Drive from North Bailey Avenue to Driver Avenue, 
and on Springbrook Drive from Driver Avenue to Northwood Road. We'll be replacing the sewer lines along Rockwood Park Drive from Lakewood Drive, then south 400 uh, feet, and on Westwood Drive from Edgefield Road to Rockwood Park Road. We will be replacing uh, the sewer lines easement west of Northwood Road from about 235 feet north and 85 feet west of the Northwood Road Springbrook Drive intersection, then north 285 feet on the easement uh, uh, west of Springbrook Drive from 185 feet west and 10 feet south, the Driver Avenue Springbrook Drive intersection, then south 60 feet, then southeasternly about 500 feet, and we'll be replacing the sewer line on the easement north of North Bailey Avenue from about 180 feet west and 85 feet south of the North Bailey Avenue Wildwood Drive intersection, then south 160 feet. We will also be replacing the sewer line on the easement north of Sherwood Avenue from 310 feet north of the Sherwood Avenue Westwood Drive intersection, then east 245 feet. And on the easement west of North Bailey Avenue from 170 feet west of the North Bailey Avenue Sherwood Avenue intersection, and then north 240 feet. And here's kind of a picture again, to kind of get an idea of of what we're replacing. As for the why we are doing this project, Fort Worth prior prioritizes replacing water and sewer lines that have a high risk of failure. This is based on the available data, which includes water main break history, leak history, CCTV inspection, the age of the line, the line material, and any lead service lines or cast iron service lines. The priority for this specific project was created as a part of the cast iron pipe initiative to reduce the amount of water main breaks. Cast iron water lines were replaced on Edgefield Road, Inglewood Lane, Northwood Road, Oakland Drive, and Springbrook Drive. Fort Worth uh, Water Management has committed to replacing a minimum of 20 miles of cast iron pipe every year. Currently, there are approximately 110 miles of cast iron mains at various stages of design for replacement in fiscal year 2024 and beyond. As far as uh, lane closures during construction, uh, one traffic lane will be closed when the lines are replaced and the trench is being repaired. Signs will be posted to alert uh, motorists in the area. The construction hours are 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday, and if requested, 9 a.m. to 4 or 5 p.m. on Saturdays. The contractor will not work on the nine city holidays, which includes Thanksgiving Day, the day after Thanksgiving, Christmas Day, New Year's Day, Martin Luther King Jr. Day, Memorial Day, Juneteenth, Independence Day, and Labor Day. This construction uh, is in the right of way and or in, within utility easements, so we should not need access to your property. But if we do, uh, Fort Worth Water uh, will contact you. Sanitary sewer service will not be interrupted New sewer uh, cleanouts will be installed at the property line. The sewer cleanout provides crews easy access if a backup or blockage occurs. <clears throat> the contractor, which is uh, Woody Contractors again, 
and take pictures and videos of your property before breaking ground. We encourage you all, the property owners, to take pictures and video with a date stamp of, the, of your property prior to starting construction. Damage resulting from the contractor's activities during construction is the responsibility of the contractor. <clears throat> as far as your irrigation systems, the contractor has to cap irrigation lines before construction starts. The contractor will ask property owners to turn on their irrigation system so the sprinkler heads can be located and flagged. The contractor will replace capped or damaged irrigation systems if they were damaged as a result of the construction. Your water will be turned off for 15 to 30 minutes when service is transferred from the existing line to a temporary line and when the service is transferred from the temporary line to a new line. These switchovers are done uh, during the day. Contractor will knock on the door to alert you uh, when the water will be turned off. The transfer typically takes, again, about 30 minutes per house or business. <clears throat> as far as your water bill, the temporary water line is there uh, to ensure that you are not without water during construction. Um, it's kept on uh, in the summer months. A continuous flow keeps the water from becoming stagnant within the above ground line and during the winter months, the water must continually flow through the temporary line to keep the line from freezing. We also encourage you all to keep your faucet stripping and your water bill uh, will be, while you are on the temporary line, will be based on the previous month's usage. As far as uh, driveway access, the inspector and contractor will work uh, with you uh, if you need driveway access during active construction hours. Again, those hours are 7 a.m. to 6 p.m., Monday through Friday, and if requested, 9 a.m. to 4 or 5 on Saturdays. <clears throat> as far as uh, trash and recycling uh, collection during construction, if your side of the street is closed on your scheduled trash collection day, the contractor will take your trash and recycling carts to the opposite side of the street so the trash collection vehicle can pick it up. If you see water running down the street, please don't turn it off. Before we can connect your services to the new water line, we have to flush the line. The water flow from flushing the line will be continuous until the inspector gets samples for that day. You will be connected to the new water main after two consecutive samples pass the bacteriological test. When it is time to sample the water flowing through the new water main, the contractor will place traffic cones around the valve to prevent anyone from parking over the valve. Please do not move the cones, don't park over the cones, and don't turn off the water valve. You will know construction is starting um, if you live in the area uh, impacted by construction, you will receive two door hangers. The first one says construction starts in seven days. The second door hanger says construction starts tomorrow. The inspector will include his business card and contact information on the door hanger. And your inspector again is Jason with the uh, Transportation Public Works Department. As far as the timeline for this project, construction is uh, set to start March 15th of 2024. The project end date is currently July of 2025. Construction will start on the Northwood Road segment from Rockwood to Oaklawn, then move to the Edgefield segment from Northwood Road to Westwood Drive. Generally, the sewer main is installed first, then the water line is installed, if the street is getting both water and sewer replaced. The streets will be re repaved with asphalt after the water and sewer lines are replaced. If you need more information, you can go to the fortworthtexas.gov website, type in the project number 103361 in the search bar on the homepage. 
and the Edgefield Northwood Area Water and Sewer Improvements should pop up. To get project page updates, scroll down to the bottom of the project page and click on subscribe to this page. The project map, project summary, frequently asked questions, and the PowerPoint will be linked to this project page. If you need to report an emergency, please call 817-392-4477 and select option one, 24 hours a day. Emergencies include water main breaks and sewer backups. <clears throat> For a non-emergency, you can call, contact the same number, uh, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday. You can also download the My FW app, and you can report sewer overflows, leaks, and water main breaks, missing or broken meter lids, water theft, water violations, no water service, water pressure issues, and other sewer concerns. Again, your project team includes myself, uh, Clayton Torrance with the Water Department. I'm the project manager. You're welcome to contact me by phone or email. And Jason with Transportation and Public Works. And you can contact him by phone or email as well. He'll be your inspector. The contractor is Woody Contractors with Zach Irwin and Trent Woody. And the engineering design consultants are Rhonda Vicentainer and Jennifer Franklin. Thank you so much.